the 14th of January 2012, the Scotland Jamaat hosted a New Year dinner at Beth Rahman Mosque, Glasgow. A Quran exhibition with various translations was on show and attracted many of the 120 non-Muslim guests present. The program commenced with the recitation of the Holy Quran and its translation. The event was presided over by the regional president, Scotland. Secretary Tabligh Glasgow welcomed the guests to the program, followed by a presentation by the President of Glasgow on the khidmat e khalq activities of the Jamaat in 2011. In total, £13,000 was raised for various charities, including Save the Children, Macmillan Cancer Support and York Hill Children's Foundation. The work of Humanity First was also highlighted. A representative from the York Hill Children's Foundation gave her thanks and appreciated the work of our Jamaat. She stated that over £6,000 was raised at the Jamaat Charity Walk in 2011. These monies were used to treat many children. She ended by wishing that the humanitarian work of the Ahmadiyya Jamaat continues to benefit Scottish society. The representative of Save the Children commented on the enthusiastic approach of the Jamaat youngsters towards fundraising for various charities. Regional President Scotland highlighted that we have the blessings of Khilafat. Our Khalifa delivers a sermon every Friday, which is the sole guidance we require in order to succeed in our efforts to serve humanity. Member of Scottish Parliament said that after attending numerous Jamaat events, I feel proud to say that in the Ahmadiyya Jamaat, a special emphasis is placed on the service to humanity. Then Lord Lieutenant added that the scale of the charitable work performed by the Ahmadiyya community is infinite and is an example for society. Inspector of Strathclyde Police explained that the viewpoint of the Ahmadiyya Jamaat towards peacekeeping in society is influential. He stated this whilst referring to our Jamaat motto, love for all, hatred for none. Lastly, Secretary Tabligh Glasgow thanked the guests and organisers of the New Year's dinner event and the programme ended with a silent prayer followed by dinner. This is Saida Bhatti, reporting for NTA UK Studios, Glasgow.